Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Um, how important was it for you to come out like you did tonight? You know, I feel like it was very important for me. You know, I feel like I really deserve to be here. You know, being able to to ride away. You know. Uh, help the team, you know, get, score a couple of runs and being able to produce, you know, after all the work that I've done throughout the whole off season and and now on the taxi squad and, and just being able to produce for the team is just very important for me. You know, sometimes I just, I work really hard, but I don't, you know, I don't get like a lot of success, you know, but now I feel like being able to have the team like that and just keep doing it throughout the rest of the season will be really important for me. I just I just believe in God so much that I know that I've always said this, you know, that everything that happens to me is for a reason and that God's timing is perfect, you know, so I, 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 you, I can only control what I can control and I just, I just always try to take the best out of every opportunity or, or everything that's happening to me in life. I just try to look at a positive way, even though at the moment it feels really tough, you know, and it kind of, my, my head want to go somewhere, but I know that I need to focus on the positive things and try to take the best out of everything that happened to me in life. Is there anything in particular you felt like you got across the street that can translate as a play on a consistent basis? Yeah, I feel like, uh, you know, I, I, I worked really hard my whole life, and I feel like this time I work more, I work smarter, you know? I work, I obviously work hard, you know, but I didn't work as hard, but I felt like I, it was a really quality work, you know? I, was, I just felt like I was moving forward every single day I was working there, like all the things that we were working on, I just felt like it was just gonna get me better every single day. Not necessarily get myself tired, you know, or, or get myself drained because of the, all the, and feel good because I'm working hard. It was more of like, I feel like I'm moving forward, I'm moving towards what I want to go. So that's how I felt working on the, the other side. I feel like every single guy over there, coaches or players, I feel like every single guy over there got me better. So I felt like I really took the best out of that opportunity. What I mean about working smart is just like being able to recognize myself as a player, as a hitter, you know, know what really works for me because, you know, when you see analytics and see all this, all the, 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 the technology stuff, like we, I feel like I focus a lot like on other players, you know, oh, this guy is doing this, like this might work or whatever, you know, I feel like I just focus more on myself and really like try to implement that technology part of the baseball. And, and, and put it on myself, you know, on the tough stuff that has been working for me in the past that I did in the past, not knowing what I was doing pretty much. And now being able to understand why I was having success in the past, doing the things that I was doing, I think it's just helping me like understand what, why it was working right and why I need to keep doing certain things. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, I felt like I said, every single guy over there, every single coach, I feel like they just got me better on everything. Like defensively, I work really hard defensively too. Like, you know, uh, I was working with Cody, you know, the hitting coordinator, and we sat down and just, we, we just analyzed my swing. And I feel like uh, all the stuff that he said to me in the beginning that we needed to work on, like we were just, you know, doing like touching every single part that we, that we said we needed to work on in the beginning, you know, it was just, getting better and better every single day. I guess the last thing is, uh, is, this, is, is this a new quarantine hairdo that you're working on? <laughs> you know, I'll go based on flow. I'll try to let it grow. I like the back part, though. Look like Juan, yeah. I look like Juan Gonzalez even more now. PR. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, what was it like for you to go back to back with Leo. I know he's a good friend of yours. How cool was that for you guys to go back to back 
I didn't get a chance to see the swing. You know, I was very excited <laughs> when I hit mine. But, you know, it was his first home run. I, I, I'm really good friends with him. Ever since he signed here, we actually live pretty close back in the Dominican. And I know how hard he works and, and how how much passion he has for the game. And being able to see him have the opportunity to be here and, and doing all the tremendous stuff that he can do on the field, it just gets me really excited for his future. He's got a great future. He's a hardworking kid. He's very smart. And, you know, I feel like he sees me, he respects me a lot. He sees me as a mentor. So anything that comes out of my mouth, I will try to make it the best for him to make him a better player. You, I, I, I didn't quite get, did, you hit your home run and you were still in the dugout. So, I mean, did you see him actually hit his home run? No, I didn't. I did. I, it was the first pitch right after. I did. It was the first pitch. Yeah, I was just like, I was just high fine everybody, and then I saw the ball going. I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> That's a homer, too. It was exciting. Thank you, buddy. Yep. One or two more, Alex. Usually, last September, uh, you had a very successful September campaign. You talked about being more comfortable at the plate, being yourself, being more free. Are you seeing those similar characteristics uh, just over the course of the last few weeks? Yeah, yeah, I definitely, you know, like I said, uh, we were like th seeing the things that uh, it had to work for me in the past and being able to understand like what was working for me and why I was doing it right. You know, I felt like last year, I, I the last month I, I focused on just being myself and here like I used to here when I was 15 years, 15, 16 years old, you know, but I was still now like very clear on what I was doing. You know, I was doing it and I was feeling good, but I wasn't like, okay, this is, this is why it feels really like, this is what I need to keep doing to, in order for me to keep feeling this way. So I feel like, you know, it's just a, just, it feel like the pretty much the same feeling of last year, just right now, trying to implement that on the, on the, on the, on the field. Which is gracias, Guzzi. Si, de nada. <laughs> One more. Uh, Evan, last question. Do you have any thoughts on the I noticed a week ago you posted something on Instagram that seemed pretty poignant about being knocked down and getting back up. Where were you mentally a week ago in this whole process? I was, I was down. I was definitely down. I was feeling a little frustrated, honestly. You know, like all the things that I worked on in the, in the, in the, in the offseason, like all the hard work that I've been putting in and not being able to be able to feel showing all the work that I put on, it, it really got to me you know, for a little bit, but like I said, like after that, I was trying to stay positive, you know, it's a, it's a tough process, honestly, because you want to be here, you want to be helping the team. If, you, if I felt like I could help the team in so many ways, even though I was down there, you know, and not being able to be here, it just, it just got to me for a few days, you know, and I was just, I had really good guys that I got to talk to on the other side, you know, and they were trying to make my head a little clear and try to make me understand things a little better. And, you know, I, I, gladly, it just, I could take it out of the way, like, pretty fast. Last thing for me, and I'll let you go. What have the last four months been like for you overall? Last four months? So, yeah, since we left spring training. I mean, I was still, I was still working, you know, I was, I was still, I mean, I, I, I tried, like, all the work that I put in the offseason, I didn't want it to go away. So I was just working, you know, in, on winter, uh, not winter. Summer camp, uh, it, it was pretty tough for me to get my time in, but I felt really good. Uh, uh, physically, I felt really good, and you know I was I was like working. It just took me a little bit to get my timing down on summer camp, but I, you know mentally I feel I feel really good, and I, I just want to play. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. Thanks, Guzzi. Awesome.